Hounslow, uh, where Keith is. Hi, Keith. Hello, good evening, lad. Hi. Well done, Keith. You've got your TV off and you're on the phone. Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah, they're not the brightest people in the world, are they? <laughs> not figuring that out after the amount of times it's been said. But anyway, well done, Keith. we are based in London. Um, what I would say to you is um, I think the guys in the studio need to need to have a word of themselves because they obviously know football, but they, because they're connected to the club, we're having this conversation about Wayne Rooney and they've got these rose-tinted glasses on about how good he's been for the club and how we'll find a position for him and not to write him off. It's not doing anyone any favours, this. Listen, Brian Robson was a great player for Man United, but he couldn't come and play in midfield for us at this moment in time. So we need to get off the subject of is he good enough, is he not good enough. He isn't good enough at the moment. Everybody with a footballing brain realises it. Tonight he looked average against a really poor uh, team that we played against and he was up front in his favourite role. His touch is awful, he, he looks a bit chubby to me. He's not covering the ground quick enough to chase the ball, to press the ball. So he can't play up front. And then putting that same player who has those faults into our midfield is causing us to have a bad season. You saw tonight, Carrick, Snyder and Herrera, they all had a bit of pace and a bit, bit of youthfulness about them running around the pitch, even Carrick controlling it behind the two younger players. It was brilliant. And that was the main positive for me tonight, having, having them to get 90 minutes or the vast majority of 90 minutes. So we can't carry on talking about Wayne Rooney because the more we do this, it's going to affect our season. He can't get in the first 11. He's got to be on the bench. He either replaces Latham or, or he plays in the cup games. And we can't keep going on about how great how great he's been and giving him time because it's just, that isn't how football works. And he wouldn't get in Keith, the side. Keith, hang on a minute, the Keith. Same scenario. Keith, hang on a minute. Are you rating them off there completely? Are you rating them off? Are you rating them yes. off completely? Yeah. Ah, well, then you're totally out of order. You, so you yeah. haven't you haven't seen Rooney then doing what he's done over the the period of time at Manchester United. The boy yeah, is having a bad the boy is having a that, bad time. He is having that, a bad that's time. My, no, that's my point. That's my point. You're referring to a couple of years ago. You're not talking about in the last couple of years. He's been rubbish in the last few years. And it doesn't matter how good he was a few years ago. And you ask any United fan without rose tinted glasses on about him, he shouldn't be in yeah. the team, especially in a three in midfield. Uh, Fact. Well, 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 okay, but you you can't overlook what he's done. Or even um, lately, what he's done for England, for Manchester United, he's the leading goal scorer. He's going to be the leading goal scorer of uh, Manchester United in just a matter of time. Because he's having a bad time at the minute, you're writing him off at 30, what is he, 30 years of age, it's 31 years of age? 31 October, yeah. You know, you, you can't do that. He's played 15 years of football. He's played what? He, he, he's played 15 years of top level football almost. So what's he, wrong with that? He's, he's like what's, an what's wrong with that? is a lot older than, he, than his age on his passport in football terms. And any United fan can say he's done nothing for the last two years for the club. And uh, you can't no, either no, play I, up I front disagree or you, with play you. Him, you don't play in the midfield. I disagree with you. Sorry, you've made no, your point. I disagree with you. Well, it's a good call, Keith, and we appreciate all our fans' views. Um...